It has all the makings of a James Bond movie. As I'm walking out from the car, it was like a, like a bomb, like a noise next to this, uh, next to my car, which is this red car, and it starts shooting from this car the bullets. So I thought this, uh, I didn't see any bullets. I thought it's a firecracker. It's understood that a remote-controlled device was used to unleash a round of projectiles from this car. The red polo was then programmed to explode after firing its rounds. It's unknown and it's also fitted at the back of the car. It has got several uh, projectiles. We haven't seen it before. An eyewitness remembers the suspicious car. This car's been parked here for two days. Um, we saw it here yesterday, but no one knew, knew whose it was. No arrests have yet been made. Pritchard would not speculate if the incident is linked to George Lucas' impending return to South Africa. He's been accused of murdering strip club boss Lolly Jackson three years ago. Kretcher has previously told ENCA he knew Luca and that he tried to get him to return to the country after he fled to Cyprus following Jackson's murder. Tabang Masanabu, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com.